Mercedes? Just try and hurry! Excuse me, miss. You seen this girl? Damn it! Where is he? Back! You can go further. I don't know. Take it out and make a better hook. Have you seen this girl? Boy, go now! Push the wire in. It's not that hard. Shit! It's not working. I can't find it. Grab like 200 bucks. That's a lot of cash. Sorry, this is gonna have to go to you. No. See, Stop. this is my mom. I have to talk to her. Give it. Stop. I, know you're the I can't drive. I know you're Sorry, Zach, I can't talk right now. No. Zach, watch out. The accident occurred on. Route 99 between Delhi and Livingston. That's where the police found debris and Mr. Boyd's cell phone. However, Mercedes' phone was found broken about a mile north of the collision site. Miss Sullivan, is this your cell phone? Yes. Is it true that Zach Boyd asked you to throw your phone out of the car? He said they could track us that way. And so you did as he asked? I just threw it. It had nothing to do with the accident, did it? Mercedes? Mercedes! Oh, shit. Mercedes! Are you okay? Let me see. Shit. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's me, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's not you, it's not you. It's okay. We're okay. Let me 
me see. Let me see. Gotta get you cleaned up. You okay? I'm fine. What are you doing? Just breaking them up. You're wasting it. Oh, my goodness. Anything to drink? Uh, coffee, please. And a cheeseburger. Fries, salad, or soup? Fries. Can I have chocolate chip pancakes, waffles with a ton of syrup and a ton of sprinkles, and mini chocolate chips on top, then a side of, like, a veggie bowl, and then a fruit bowl, chocolate milk? and eggs with a bunch of syrup. Where are you guys from? Sacramento. Where are your parents? Um, well, we don't really have parents. I mean, we do, but we don't. Like, we're immortal. So we started out as little beans, and we sprouted, and our, we adopted parents so we could act normal into, like, our normal societies. We don't really like them. They're really mean to us, and they abuse us a lot, so we hid their bodies in the basement and wasted them, so we don't... We're gonna get new parents soon. Don't worry about it. You're crazy. Yeah, she's stupid enough to believe that. Because <laughs> she believed it. I know. I got psychic power. you were on the run together. But was it disconcerting to you that you now had no one to reach out to? No one to ask for help or advice? Now let's talk about the crime that only made things worse. Your Honor, the jury will hear a lot of conflicting information. I'm sure a lot of things will be very hard to listen to, but what we're talking about here is a crime. I'm sure they'll come to the only conclusion. Guilty as charged. Zach Boyd then rented a room for the two of you, isn't that right? How old are you, Mercedes? Twelve. And how old is Zach? Seventeen. Yet he got you a motel room? Yes. I know this is going to be very difficult, but we need to hear from you what happened in that motel room that night. I, I don't remember. You were found half naked with a defendant in said motel room with blood all over your shirt and his semen on the bed. Objection! Isn't that right, Mercedes? Silence in the court.
Control. Control loop. Let's go. Get in there. All right, break. Good job, fellas. Take five. Loop. Listen, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. That's why I didn't say anything, OK? There's going to be somebody from UCLA, a scout, coming out this week. He's coming to see you. <laughs> That's a full scholarship. Three years tuition free. Don't fuck it up. And, uh... All right. That's Zach Boyd. He's a new kid in town. His family came here from Flagstaff last summer. Said he was an eagle over there. Why don't you go live with him, rough him up a bit, see what he's made of, all right? It's Zach! You warm? Come on. Hey, it's Luke. Zach. Bit of a twig, aren't you? All right, let's go live. Come on. Get in there. Get ready. Come on, Luke, kick his ass. In there. Get in there now. Keep moving. Come on, Luke. Come on, there. There you go. Yeah. Move your feet. Move your feet. There you go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Back to my house for some pizza and hanging. You want to come? Yeah. Okay, we'll meet you up front. Okay, sounds good. Hey, shut up. He looks like like he's like pushing something out, like his face is scrunching up. Like he, he looks like he's ready to just take a huge dump, and he's like pushing. He's like, Ugh, uh. something falls from his leg. And it's, like, it's a fucking turd. Keep talking shit over his turd. Literally shit. For the love of God. Yes, go! Okay. Yeah. Yes! Oh. Yeah! Fuck! Yeah! Baby. Woo! Fuck! So why'd y'all move down here? Didn't like the heat? Uh, no, my... My mom got a new job. Oh, yeah? What job? She's an ICU nurse. Shit, I bet you've seen some crazy shit. Like, did, did anyone, like, come in and just walk in there, like, something fucked up, stuck in their anus or something? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you, Noah? Jesus. No, but she did, she told me about this one guy who came in. He had, like, a, like a four-inch fucking nail, like, on the side of his head. She so was like, fuck. So, what, you got a girl? You got to go back home? No? No. You want one? Haley's looking. <laughs> you know... Haley's always looking. <laughs> She's fucking easy. Easy like a kid's toy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pizza! Are you kidding me? I'm starving. You could have at least let me one piece. Just get your own freak show, okay? I don't care. I can't get my own freak show. Who's that? What's it matter to you? Don't hang around these losers. They'll rub off. <laughs> okay, Mercy, please get the fuck out of my way. What's your name? Uh, it's Zach. Yeah. Well, be careful around your new friends. What do you mean? My brother is a psycho. Maybe you are too. <laughs> it's... I love that part. You know this song? Nobody does. My absolute favorite. Have you heard the new album? I love it. Can I listen to it? I imagine. And I'm in this big black sea. And I, the waves keep crashing over me. And then I'm going back 
and four, and back, and forth. Finally, they're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And they swallow me whole. I know when I sound scary, but it makes me feel limitless and special. That's what I feel. What do you feel? Hey, you get lost or something? You got a six pack. Come on back. What do you think were Mr. Boyd's intentions towards your sister when you first saw him around her? Objection. Asking the witness to speculate. Sustained. I'll rephrase. Um, was there anything strange or unusual about the way Zach Boyd acted around your sister when they first met? They talked briefly in the hallway. Did I think that was strange? No. Who the fuck would think that? I mean, my sister doesn't have a whole lot of friends. You give her a finger and she'll take the arm. Did she appear to enjoy talking to Zach? Yeah, I guess, at that time. Did she ever not enjoy talking to Zach? Objection. Sustained. To the best of your knowledge, did your sister ever complain that he made her feel uncomfortable? No. Thank you. No more questions. At least not before what he did to her at that motel room. Move to strike, Your Honor. I had already excused the witness. It's stricken. Mr. Turner, you may cross-examine. Yes, Your Honor. No. Mercedes, put that down. It's a dad's, not yours. I said put it down. What the fuck, Luke? That hurt! Hey, what's the big deal, man? Just let her have a beer. What, you want a drink? All right, drink. Here. Yeah. Come on, drink! Drink that! Drink! Come on, drink! What is it so bad? Come on! Oh, you're gonna get drunk, Woo. I don't ever come near me again, motherfucker piece of shit! What'd you say to me? What'd you say to me? Come on, let her go, man. Shut up! Stay out of it! I want to say sorry. Say you're sorry! Are you always like this? For the month. Say you're sorry! She you can't breathe, dude. What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. Peaceful. That song, when I listen to it, it makes me feel at peace. There's this one girl that I'm kind of interested in. There's something about her, it's... the way she talks, the way she moves. I think I'm attracted to her. Does she know you like her? No, not yet. Luke's having this party on Saturday. Everybody's invited. He keeps telling me that she's perfect for me and that he wants us to really hit it off. 
I don't know. I just want to get to know her, I guess. How old is she? Uh, she's my age, I think. And what about Luke's little sister? What about her? Is there anything you want to share with me about her? Um... I only see her when I'm over at Luke's house. She's kind of crazy, just like her brother. Do you find yourself thinking about her at all? No. She's just there. So you don't see her as a risk? No. She just lives there. I, I, what am I supposed to do? I, do you, you don't think I can handle it? Can you? <laughs> She's not a problem. Good. Good. So, your crush, what's her name? Haley. <laughs> I really need one of these. Uh, what's in it? it smells like cheap vodka. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good guess. So, uh, I hear you're new in town. Yep. And how are you liking Ashfield? Um, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, I know it's a dumb. I mean, there's not much to like unless you feel a passion for bowling or burger joints. Anyways, I have big plans, so. <laughs> uh, really? What's your master plan? I'm just gonna marry a really, really rich guy. <laughs> Luke didn't tell you that I'm hilarious, did he? Uh, I guess he left that part out. I bet he told you other things, though. Um, not really. <laughs> How would you describe your relationship with the defendant? We went out a couple of times. And you found the defendant to be overall receptive? Yeah. And you're 17? I'll be 18 next month. Objection. I'm confused. Where is all this going? Where is this going, Mr. Mitchell? Well, Ms. Cook's testimony proves my client's sexual impulses extend to a variety of ages, for lack of better words. Overruled.
Yeah, I just got so I'm like, for example, is it? Do you, do you like it? Spray. You guys like this stupid hip hop shit in this like pong game? <laughs> What's the deal with this? Like you're throwing balls into cups? Like, hey, shouldn't you be in bed? Why do you care? It's my house. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, I mean, it's her house. The more the merrier, right? Wow, that's so fucking gracious of you. I didn't need your permission. Well, I didn't hey, mean. Don't do that. Do what? It's my house. So it's my pate. I do whatever the hell I want. Ooh. She's a handful. She probably has a crush on you. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, that's what you do when you can't have someone, right? Bite and claw. I guess so. Really? You called it a crush? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't Zach's fault. When I was 12, I had crushes on all sorts of people. All right, let's go back to the night you met. You and Zach didn't have sex that night, did you? No. No, I, I, no, we didn't. But you were interested in pursuing things further. We, we were just, we were taking it slow. Isn't it a fact that you tried to initiate sex with him on more than one occasion? I suppose. Yet nothing ever happened. Dumb hair. Mercy! Shit! Luke, come on. We'll find her. Let's go. I can help. Yeah, man. Let's go. All right, let's go. Sorry, I'll text you later. Let's go!
found me. Why did you run off like that? Everybody's looking for you. Who? Luke and his goons? I don't care. I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. <laughs> or you could sleep in your own bed. It's probably way more comfortable and warm. I'm not comfortable anywhere. No, me neither. Did I ruin the party? No. People were already heading out. Hope I didn't interrupt anything special for you. Like what? Oh, Haley, you're so hot. Cut it out. Or what? Nothing happened. Man, it's on your love. That was fast. I'm not in love. You don't know what you're talking about. I do. I think it's possible. Falling in love real fast. I secretly think you're a believer. Why? Because you look happy right now. I'd rather be with you than those losers. She didn't do anything, man. Hey! Inside! Both of you! You're so dead. Mercedes, now! Smoking. She's like 85. So, uh, what's, what's the verdict? Oh, dude, he's so pissed. Took Mercedes dancing classes away until she gets her math grade up. Said I gotta find some kind of tutor. So I said, you'll do it. You're kidding, right? Oh, why would I be kidding? Dude, I can't do that. Oh, shit.
Hey, guys. You're Zach Boyd, right? Yeah. Yeah, Luke's told me a lot about you. Enjoying the swim? You mind if I ask you for a favor? I'm not going to be able to do it, Mr. Sullivan. I... Come on, boy. Luke tells me you're good at math. How about 20 bucks an hour? Best I can do. I appreciate the offer, Mr. Sullivan, but I... Don't be stupid. You really shouldn't refuse good money. Get her grades up. I'll double it. I know my daughter. She is a good girl. Ever since her mother left, I've been taking care of her, making sure she has everything she needs. She was happy where she was. Under no circumstances would she have left home on her own. She's been coerced. Mr. Sullivan, you work construction. Long hours, I take it? Yes, we have no other income. So you're not really at home all that much? I'm home as much as I can be. How many waking hours a week? I have no idea. I haven't counted. I have. I would say, on average, you spend two waking hours at home with your children per day. That's 14 a week. Add a few for weekends. Do you think that's enough? I... I'm there when they need me. Who's Mercedes' best friend? I don't recall her name. That's because she doesn't have one, Mr. Sullivan. Claiming that you are the world's most attentive father would be beyond an exaggeration. It's a misrepresentation. Objection, Your Honor. I'll allow it. I paid for the fucking math tutor now, didn't I? Can I see this? Yeah, those are, those are good. Okay, how about how about this one? Uh, two thirds times four fifths. Eight fifteenths. Fine, just let's go on to the next one. Um, yeah, one third times three fifths. One fifths. Can you shut up? Can you shut up. <laughs> Dude, she's trying to learn. She's doing really good. She's not doing anything. I'm doing it for. Her. Just do one more, okay? Two thirds times one half. One third. Can you shut up? I'm actually trying to learn and be productive when you're playing stupid video games. Hey, shut up. I can't help you because you're so slow, all right? You, know, you look like a freaking Oompa Loompa. You're so fat and tubby. You little cheeks. You're Mercedes, kidding. just focus on this, all right? Just ignore him. You want to play with me? Uh, you know what? I wish you were in this game right now. Chill. Ah, oh, man, ease up. Die! Come on, yeah! Okay, just, you... just ignore him and do one more, okay? One and one ninth times three and one fourth. Working, okay? Are you sure I have to wear this? I know how hard this must be for you. But I want you to know something. What? I'm proud of you. What you went through, you wouldn't want to wish that on anyone else. And I'm sorry that this is your first impression of love. I don't know what he told you or what he made you believe, but this never had anything to do with love. He's a sick boy. He doesn't love you. He just likes him young. Please, Dad, I don't want to talk about this right now. I know, but we should. He betrayed your trust. Mine, Luke's, he played us all. I'm counting on you. Other young girls are counting on you. You understand? 
What if I mess up? You can't mess up. You can't, you can't mess up. All you have to do is tell them what happened. Like we practiced with Mr. Turner at the DA's office. I know you can do that. Will I ruin his life? <sighs> his life was already ruined. Sorry, Mama. Oh. I just. This is all my fault. No. I, I didn't. No, 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 baby. It's okay. I'll start over. goes into 75. Two times three equals six. So plus two, eight, okay, so eight thirds. So you do times one eighth, I know eight. Eight over one, because it's so genuine. Is it, all right? Yep, you got all these right. Really? Yeah. All of them? You're gonna ace this next test. Hey, Zach, you know why our slut mother called her Mercedes? Because they fucked in one. I mean, that's how she was conceived, man. No. I was named after Mercedes from the Count of Monte Cristo. The tale of undying love. What undying love? I mean, she was just fucking around with everyone and then runs the hell off. I mean, you're the reason Dad's never here. It's because you remind him too much of your slut mother. You're lying! I'm just messing around. She's just stupid enough to fall for it. You ready for the big day tomorrow? As ready as I'll ever be. Good. You gotta get pounded. Go, get warm, get warm, get warm. Here we go. Loosen up. That's probably our best wrestler right over there. That's Luke. Excellent. I'm warmed up a little bit and we'll start. All right. Get loose, get loose, get loose. Luke, come here. Listen up, man. That's the guy you want to impress, okay? Keep it simple, keep it clean. All right? Okay. It's your one chance, all right? Zach, you're on two. All right, everybody, get the wall. Here we go. Get the wall. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Here you go. Here you go. All right. Come on, Luke. Oh. 
There you yeah. go. Yeah. All right. Great dangle here. Come on. Come on. Come on, Luke. You gonna put him away or what, Luke? Come on. Put him away. Put him away. Shelf him. Not all day. The head up. Head up. Head up. Let's go. You decent? Hey, that scout's out front. Wants to talk to you. Yeah, just a sec. He actually wants to talk to Zach. When you were in the locker room and stuff, the, the coach he came in and he was like, I want to talk to you. What did he say? He was like, okay, so I wanna, I, I wanna take you to UCLA and I wanna show you around the campus mm -hmm. and I wanna offer you a scholarship. Really? Like yeah. a scholarship? Like they gave her in everything? Yeah, totally free. It's crazy. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. I think your brother's mad at me though. Why would he be mad? It's kind of his scholarship. It's not like his name was on it or anything. It wasn't his to begin with, so don't worry about it, my man. Just be glad. <laughs> I want to show you something. I got this really dope, delicious little bracelet. That's really cool. You can adjust it to your wrist. So, like, I have a skinny wrist, but like, so I just adjust it. Perfect. You know. Hey, Mercedes. Yeah. I got you something. You're right. Mercedes was his first love. Everything he did was to avenge her loss. She was very special. Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited. The state can present their witness. The state would like to ask Angela Price to the stand. I thought you said she couldn't be bothered. That's what you told me, I swear. I thought we were safe. They must have talked her into it. You think? Objection, Your Honor. This witness is not on our list. We apologize for the last minute addition, Your Honor. Mrs. Price had been reluctant to appear before the court. We're very lucky to have her with us today. I'll allow it, just this once. But no more surprises. Thank you, Your Honor. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you guide me? I do. State your full name and occupation, please. My name is Angela Ruth Price, and I'm a full-time mother. And how do you know the defendant? He and his mom were our neighbors in Flagstaff. Once a week, he would babysit Brooke. That's my little girl. She'll be 10 next week. She's a doll. Please, tell us what happened. Zach Boyd molested my daughter.
Price. Mrs. Price. Tell us what happened next. Well, first, I... I threw him out of the house, and then I called his mom. Did you contact the police? No. Why not? Well, I didn't want to subject my daughter to further trauma. I didn't know what would happen to her were people to start talking. She'd been bullied before. And his mom promised me they'd move away. Which they did. Yet here you are. I was also promised it would never happen again. Do not think that could have gone better. I am so proud of how well you're doing here, honey. And I liked her, too. You must be Zach's mom. Uh, we think the world of your son. He's a bright kid. Oh, thank you. Um... Zach and Luke are on the wrestling team. They were training together. Oh, Zach, how come you never invite your friends over? You know I'd love to meet them. He's a bit peeved about the scholarship. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe UCLA will open up another one. Well, don't worry about it. A little competition hasn't hurt anyone yet. He'll deal with it. But Zach's real achievement's been my little girl. Right, with the, um... The math. Zach's been tutoring my daughter. Her math was shit, but she did much better on her last test. You have a daughter, and, um... Zach's been tutoring her in math. He didn't tell you? Modest, too, huh? Oh, he probably mentioned it, but I've been really busy and, you know, just blinked. And what grade is she in again? Seventh. Right. Luke, we're ready. Anyway, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Good job, kid. Thanks. What are you doing? I just barely got our lives back together again. Why didn't you tell me that you're hanging out with Luke's younger sister? I'm, I'm, I'm helping her with math, Mom. This is a terrible idea, the worst. You're acting like there aren't any consequences. Did you talk to your therapist about this? Nothing even happened. I didn't do anything. After everything that you have to endure, the, the, the violence and the insults and the, the having to leave our whole lives behind, do you really want to go through all that again? Do you really want to move again? Because that's what's going to happen if you continue down this path. I can't, Zach, I can't go through it again. I trusted you. I'm not going to see her again. I promise. Hey, what's up? What's up? I don't know, just like you disappeared. That's what's up. I thought you were helping me. I just got busy with stuff. What kind of stuff? Your stupid girlfriends? Does your mom have like pneumonia or something? School stuff. Could have just said something. I miss you. Can I help you? I'm sorry, I was She was just, just... leaving. Okay, bye. Mrs. Boy, I think it'd be really great if Zach could keep tutoring me. I I'm getting a lot better at math. Yeah, I think this is for the best. Trust me, your father will be able to find you another tutor. I don't understand. He's my only friend. Please, just go. Zach? Zach? Zach, where are you? Zach, please! Don't hide from me! Zach! Zach! <sighs> Thank you.
Putting her through this circus. And for what? Kids, go ahead. I'm protecting my daughter. Everyone's staring at her. Everyone thinks she's a victim. I don't think you have the slightest idea of what this is doing to her. No, lady. I am making sure that your son's never hurting another child again. I'm seeing justice served. This is hurting her way more than he ever could. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know what he did to her Dad. in that room? Let's go. Luke, after you found out about Zach's prior criminal history, why didn't you tell anyone? He made me look like an idiot. I mean, he was my friend. I let him into my house. I introduced him to my friends, the girls even. But all that freak wanted was my sister. I told my friends, yeah, we were going to mess him up, send him a message. You really love your little sister, don't you? Yes, of course I do. She's my flesh and blood. I love her. Thirty minutes, then, right? Perfect. Did he touch you under your shirt? What did he make you do to him? Are you fucking insane! He didn't do anything. Stop protecting him. He's a freak. He likes little girls. They turn him on. You're just jealous. They want get more. He's a perv, a pedophile. He doesn't care about you. He's just a fucking easy target. And you're not the first. You're lying. You can't get away from me. Look, come on. We gotta go. We need this again. Fucking.
Go check that door. Looks like he just went off and took my sister. What do you mean, took your sister? You know what I mean, lady. I don't. I don't. Oh, I don't want anything to happen to your sister or to Zach. I don't think you give a shit about my sister, okay? You're a lying little fucking bitch who raised a pedophile. You don't have to talk to me that way. How dare you talk to me that way? You don't even know what he's been through. Oh, bullshit! Bullshit! He came to my house, touched my 12-year-old sister. Get off my fucking porch! Get off my fucking house! Oh, no! This isn't over, lady. How are you feeling, Mom? Okay. I am so sorry you have to go through this. This is really the worst part. Your mom can be in here if you'd like. She's not around. I'm just gonna take some few samples first. Okay, look at me. Open wide. Ah, ah, there mm. we go. Ooh. You lie back for me, okay? Lean back. There we go. Bend this leg for me. Slowly. And you're gonna put your foot right here. Perfect. This is the hard part. It'll be over before you know it. Just take a deep breath. You're doing so good. It's just chocolate. <laughs> you want fries? You can have some fries. <laughs>
tell me what's going on. I said, stop the car! <laughs> Hold on. You did great. You can get dressed now. Oh, she'll be out in just a minute. How bad was it? I'm really not supposed to talk about that. Please, she's my little girl. I just want to make sure she's all right. She's fine. She's not? No. But the blood? It's mostly menstrual blood, from what I could tell. Of course, we still need to run it through the lab. Yeah. Sure. Mercedes? Are you okay? Stay away from me! Do you need some help? Just give me some time! Is it your first time? I said just give me some time! Percy, it's cold. Let's get out of here, come on. Please. After your bedtime, isn't it? It's a female thing. You're all alone? My boyfriend's waiting outside. 
You should have never left. I was all just too fucked up. I'm tired. I'm just really tired. It's okay. We'll find a place to rest tonight. We can sleep on it. Mercedes, what happened when you entered that motel room? He said that we would be safe here and we should probably get cleaned up. And by cleaned up, you mean what? Like, take a bath. And did you? Yes. Man, what a shithole. Paradise to me. This bed's so bouncy. I like the patterns. It's very pretty. I'm gonna hit my head and I don't even care. Okay. A bathtub, thank goodness. Hey. Why don't you take a bath? Get cleaned up. Take your time. Be outside. Don't leave. Okay? So you got naked? Yes. Where was Zach? He said that he would be outside. And did he? Yes. For a bit. Back into the room? Yes. Sorry about earlier. I just freaked out. Don't worry. You're the prettiest thing I ever saw. So. I think we should go to sleep. I'm not tired yet. Let's have a party. We can like watch TV. We can like plan a go seek a tag. You can invite all your friends. Pretty comfy. You can do the worm. It's like, oh. I ain't ever trying to do the worm. Maybe let's go. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to go to bed. I can't do anything about it. I'm not tired so my eyes don't close. I didn't bring pajamas. Can I borrow your shirt? Sure.
Thanks, dude. Dun 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 touch me again and you It's not funny. Any unattended articles are likely to be removed without Are you asleep? What is that? It's nothing. Please sleep. You don't trust me? Does it hurt? Not anymore. Who did it to you? I did. Whenever I can't deal with who I am, it helps me not have certain thoughts. What kind of thoughts? Thoughts about you. Do they make you feel bad for him? His scars? Yes. Mercedes, did you ever think that's what he wanted? Your pity? So that you no longer felt threatened or intimidated? I don't know. Objection. Leading. Your Honor, I'm just trying to show that sexual predators use empathy to break down their victim's defenses. If you can't distinguish good from bad, Then you become easy prey. Is that when the assault happened? Objection. Assault hasn't been established. Sustained. Okay. In your own words, Mercedes, please. He started. What? What did he start? Touching his... Was he masturbating? And then what happened? It just gets worse. Worse how? He 
lost control. I don't know. What did he do exactly? He, he grabbed me by the wrist. And? He pinned me down. Were you scared? Yeah, I was. I, I felt... You felt what? I felt terrified. I didn't even know who he was anymore. Did he try to have sex with you? Maybe? I don't know. Mercedes, you need to answer the question. Do you think he tried to have sex with you? Yes. But he wasn't successful? No. I... I screamed and, and then I ran out of the room. She's lying. I, I don't know why, but she is. We're losing them. We point at the evidence being circumstantial. No penetration took place. Her word against that. That'll never be enough. Let me take the stand. I highly recommend you do not do that. It only hurts in cases like these. Wh what about those notes she wrote then? I know that was before everything, and those just prove what an easy target she was. There's gotta be something we can do. There is. Just let me speak. Nobody's heard my side of things. I can't just sit here and do nothing. Again. It's really a bad idea. I need to tell the truth. Please, just let me do this. They say I can't talk to you. But I want it to. Do you really think it was my intention to hurt you? That I wanted to force you into something? I don't know. They said that you're a monster. And you're dangerous. And you want to hurt me. He said that I should be happy when you go to jail. Did you love her? That girl, Brooke, that you used to babysit? Possible. Can you fix it? Yeah, I can. Please raise your right hand. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I swear. At the time you were leaving town with Mercedes, 
Did you realize how bad the situation was? You stole a car. You took off with a minor without parental consent. Yes, I did. So why do it then? I was scared. Scared of what? Of getting beat up or being talked about, uh, being called names, being judged. But then why take Mercedes along? I felt like I had to protect her. No one watched out for Mercedes. She told me that Luke hit her. She was so scared, just as scared as I was. And she begged me to leave with her. I know it was probably a bad idea, but at the time, I thought it was the only thing we could do. As I understand it, when you were in bed together and you realized that she was awake, you pushed her away. Yes, I did. And soon after, you locked yourself in the bathroom. Yes. Did you at any point that night pin Mercedes down and force her to have sex with you? control it. I'm sorry, I'll ask again. Did you at any point pin Mercedes down and force her to have sex with you? I said I couldn't control it. But you didn't mean to force her to No, I did. I... I... I wanted her. It was an urge. It was something much bigger than me. Okay. Let's stop right there. Just
just to be clear, Zach, this does not match the statement that you gave to the police. I know, but that's what happened. I, I tried to force her. I can't fix it. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll never be able to fix it. Will the defendant please stand up? The state of California versus Zachary Nathan Boyd has come to a unified decision. On account of indecent exposure in front of a minor, the defendant has been found guilty as charged. On the count of lewd acts with a child, the defendant has been found guilty as charged. On the count of aggravated assault on a minor, the defendant has been found guilty as charged. The court has considered the circumstances and the nature of the offense in arriving at a sentence for Mr. Boyd. As all counts were acts committed on a minor, the court agrees with the jury that the crime was aggravated and particularly damaging. On the two third degree felonies of indecent exposure and a lewd act with a minor and the second degree felony of aggravated assault, the court sentences the defendant to be incarcerated for 10 years. A permanent sex offense record will be registered to the defendant and to his social security number. Thank you, jury, for your service today. Bailiff, please take him into custody. Court adjourned. Turn around. We're gonna appeal, we're gonna fight this. Don't worry, okay? It's all right, Mom. You're all right now. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You're very brave. You're my baby. You're my baby. Put your seatbelt on, hon. You should feel really proud. Everything's gonna be fine now. Let's live tomorrow.